lunch out of me because that's all you've got, isn't it? As workplaces go, this one's hardly harmonious. Shame on you. The government's multi-pronged effort to update Australia's workplace laws shriveled in extraordinary retreat. Ambition extinguished, even on something almost everyone agreed on, a crackdown on wage theft. Shame on you all for trashing such an important amendment. The extent of the government's surrender even lost on one of its own. The Labor Party are voting against mandated annual pay rises. A government so in crisis you can't even tell a member of your own team, oh by the way, we've ditched that bit and that bit and that bit. The only remnant from the original plan, a requirement for employers to offer regular casuals a permanent job after 12 months. A very modest IR change on a day that had shown greater promise. This is the first time that the trade union movement has um, stood together with small business representatives to say that we want to see a way forward. Today's been a humiliating defeat for what the government said it wanted to do on industrial relations. They want to support it, then they want to oppose it. Mr Speaker, it's a the game of Prime tennis. Minister. Labor might claim a strategic win in defeating big chunks of the IR package, but there's a hollowness in the victory, given there were elements Labor might have supported with amendment. The absence of Industrial Relations Minister Christian Porter didn't much help, although the coalition's heart didn't seem to be in it from the start. Then again, the government continues to be distracted. Mr Hutchson called me a meth head C Federal Liberal staffer Andrew Hudson forced to resign overnight for directing a vile insult at the Tasmanian Greens leader two years ago. We dealt with this over the last couple of days and as I think you expect us to. A small sign the Prime Minister sees the impatience for change. Andrew Proven, ABC News, Canberra.